This is the 11th video of the series that I've been doing presenting to you what's been going on at General Convention. This has been actually an extraordinary day. It began with a rousing Eucharist. Bishop Michael Curry, our preacher, talked in incredibly effusive terms about the Episcopal Church being a part of the Jesus movement right now and it brought people to their feet. He preached a profoundly biblical sermon calling us to mission. And it was only enhanced by the caliber of the worship music. In fact, there was one moment, I tweeted it this morning, when the soloist was at the microphone singing, Nearer My God to Thee. And you could tell the Spirit of God just blew into the room. All I could do was just stand up and worship. I was in awe. I've never experienced that at a general convention ever, and I have been to several. That whole flow of evangelism just went right into the meetings that we had, both as House of Bishops and House of Deputies. It continued to be enthusiastic, collegial, and cooperative. We cleaned up a bunch of much needed resolutions. We enhanced what was happening with Title IV in a way that cleaned up some of the language, which are the disciplinary canons of the church. We also tried to deal more concretely with structure. A lot of the more radical calls for structure were set aside, but still there was a lot of streamlining that happened that really freed, I think, the Episcopal Church from a lot of encumbrances administratively that at this time in our life we actually don't need anymore. So besides a lot of courtesy resolutions, appreciations, it really is for a lot of people the end of an era. Um, we look forward with a lot of enthusiasm for the future. I cannot wait to get back to Central Florida with the team for our meeting in St. Cloud to report to you in some detail all that has happened. But suffice it to say, it was more than worth it. We made a difference. God used us not only individually, but also in public speeches before both the House of Deputies and the House of Bishops. So believe me, we were not marginalized, just the opposite. We were often, particularly when it came to things like evangelism, at the center of the action and God used us. I can only attribute that to both the caliber of the team, but more importantly, the real sense of prayer and intercession that undergirded all that we did. Thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. God bless you. See, I'm a professional. I know how to keep my attention, even when I'm being distracted by other people. And harassed. And of course, he's still rolling. But he loves you. He loves you, too. And that's why we surround you.